With the dawn of the new year, ISRO announced its ambitious new projects, Chandrayaan-3 and Gaganyaan. With Chandrayaan-3, the Indian Space Research Organization is making its second attempt to soft land on the surface of the moon. Meanwhile, Gaganyaan is India's first manned mission and is expected to take off by 2022. Now, in the last few years, India has basked in the success and glory that it has achieved in space, and ISRO is ensuring that there is a lot more to look forward to in the coming years. So, joining us today on our show is Mr. K. Sivan, the chairman of Indian Space Research Organization. So, welcome on our show. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, the first question that I'd like to ask you is, it was only a few months back that we saw Chandrayaan-2 fail at making a soft landing in the last few moments of the mission. So, what are the lessons that we have learned? learned from Chandrayaan-2 that we're going to take forward in Chandrayaan-3. See that uh, Chandrayaan-2 basically in the that uh, landing portion, the powered landing, there are four phases. One is that the rough breaking phase, second one is camera costing phase, third one is that uh, fine breaking phase, then fourth one is the uh, vertical descent phase. In that Chandrayaan 2, this uh, rough breaking phase has worked very fine, no problem. In the during the camera question phase, that is uh, that the velocity reduction was more than what we anticipated. So the next phase, that uh, fine breaking phase, this large dispersions in velocity was not able to take and get by the onboard control and guidance system, which made the Lander is a hard landing instead of soft landing. So this lesson we learned, and we understood that uh, the lessons, and and we are now correcting that one in the Chandrayaan three. With that way only, we are expecting the Chandrayaan three is going to be that uh, successful. Well, uh, that was about Chandrayaan. Now, shifting focus to Gaganyaan, uh, we understand that four chosen astronauts are being trained in Russia as we speak. Uh, so, what sort of training are they undergoing there? See, this uh, astronaut training have two parts. One is that uh, that is mainly that is the, the physical training, the, the 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 endurance limit of the 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 astronauts. Also, that the environment, the very harsh environment under which that they have to undergo, all this type of training will be done in Russia, 14 to 15 months. This is the plan. Then, second part is that uh, the training will be done at a module-wise, module-specific training. And because the module, whatever that does not tra traveling, is Indian origin, that module we only have that one, so they will be coming here and they will be further undergoing test training in the module, whatever simulating in the in India, simulated in India. This one, this is the second part. 